I thought it'd be a little fun for you guys to see what I'm actually doing behind the camera. I'm not actually doing much. I'm going to do it this way for you. Um, I placed my phone over here. Um, or the other camera that you can see in the background there. And then I close the window because my street is always noisy. <laughs> it's a very important part. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget that I'm getting old. It's okay. So, yeah. Um, so I need to do a Virgos video. So I kind of have to pre-shuffle before each video and I kind of get in the energy. I want to pick it up. Um, I don't think I'll be able to keep talking to you guys while I get into the energy and tune into the energy because it's just like basically letting my um, self channel rather than what I'm doing now using my brains um, to speak to you guys <laughs> the little brain I have so beforehand I'm always pulling out um, the cards that jump when I take a look at them so here for Virgo we have um, the Magician and the Six of Swords. So it's about working on yourself to be able to move forward. So I'd first tune into these cards before starting on the main read. Um, the cards that I will pull for each person and things, uh, not each person, each, well, I do do it on personal readings as well, but each sign, I will look what's going on with that sign um, before I start the main read because I like you guys to see the cards on camera as well. But yeah, so here Virgo is choosing to work on themselves, but they need to push out of their comfort zone here and they will see just over the horizon that there is something away in them. Um, so yeah, let's I'll get I'll get another card out here. Pre-shuffle, remember, so I've not started recording yet. Um, it's just to, it's just for me to get into the energy and tune into the energy. And I take, before um, the video, I take the jumping cards. Um, I used to always only take jumping cards, um, but you know, as my intuition gets stronger, I know when to stop, I know when to pull the cards. Um, but I enjoyed letting the cards jump and letting people see the cards jump because um, I think it's very important, you know, it's just, it just, well, to me it is, to me it is, it might not be to the viewers, but to me it is. So look at this, um, <laughs> Virgo, right? Um, spiritual strength and sacrifice here. So this is before I start the video, remember guys, um, the Magician, Six of Swords, um, Spiritual Strength, um, Nine, related to the Virgo, uh, the Hermit, and Completion of Cycles, a Sacrifice, hopefully learning not to sacrifice too much there, and Card 12, um, you know, we break that number down to three. Um, <clears throat> and the Magician, it's about... The magician is card number one, so it's about your first house, um, about yourself, and the magician is trying to figure out ways and work on yourself and things like that. Um, I was considering um, maybe doing a tarot school as well, um, some videos like that, but I wasn't quite sure because mainly I do it from intuition. Um, yeah. So there you go, guys. It's spiritually uplifting themselves, the Virgos, right? Um, I, I feel like they don't realize the power they have within or that you get from walking away. Not having to throw yourself under the bus all the time. Okay, guys, so that was a little behind the scenes there. And I'm going to start Virgo's video.